I see everything, young lady. My father ruins my date with my boyfriend again. Enough is enough. Either he comes to his senses, or it's over between us. Ben left, slamming the door. Dad justified himself by saying that he raised me alone. If you were in my place, you would understand. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Why? If you were 18, you'd know. <gasps> that night, I made a wish for him to finally realize I had grown up. The next morning, I woke up on feeling my clothes being ripped. My legs, arms, and face were covered by an abundance of hair. I had switched bodies with my father. Let's make up, because I lost weight overnight from this stress. <gasps> Dina? Dad? Ah! It's just a dream? Slap me! I underestimated the amount of force and hit him quite hard. No, this is not a dream. We need a doctor. By the car, another issue popped up. Who would drive? After all, only my father had a driver's license. I told you, learn how to drive. But now, there's just potting in your head. God knows how we made it to the hospital. When we explained everything to the doctor, he didn't even look surprised. If you feel that you're not who you were born to be, it's okay. You can be happy that way. Just look at the Kardashian stepfather. You didn't understand. We are not who you see us as. <laughs> I understood you very well. Accept it. Come to an agreement and it shall pass. My father thought it was a waste of time. Yet, I knew what the doctor meant. We would become ourselves again once we reconciled. Upon returning from the hospital, we saw my boyfriend on our doorstep with a big bouquet of flowers. My friends and I are going on a weekend trip, and I wanted to invite your daughter. I assure you that I'll take care of her just as well as you do. For the first time that day, I was glad for waking up in my father's body. I see that Dina really wants to go, so I can't refuse. As soon as Ben left, my dad immediately went back to his old ways. You will only go over my dad body. Didn't you hear the doctor? He said, come to an agreement and it shall pass. So be considerate if you don't want to remain a girl forever. Unable to come up with any arguments, he agreed. And what do you think we need to do to wake up us ourselves again? You have to try to understand me. I showed him a video of Ben playing basketball. He was the best athlete on the team. 
and the most popular guy in high school. Now you see why this date is so important to me. Yeah. Now it's clear why you wore that short skirt. And joined the cheerleaders in order to shake your behind. That deeply offended me. And I proved that it wasn't just some ridiculous <gasps> dancing. I trained a lot. So much that colleges offered me scholarships. Wow. That's really impressive. Which one will you choose? Surprisingly, my father listened attentively. He ended up admitting that he didn't realize how quickly I grew and wised up. I was convinced that everything would return to normal in the morning. But it didn't. On the most important day of my life, I woke up with a beer belly and a stubble. Dad, get up! You're going on a weekend trip with Ben! I got him perfectly ready for the date. However, at the last moment he decided to cop out. I'll be like a bull in a china shop in these hills. Just do it! I'm sure it's the final challenge. Before we get our bodies back, I set him up with an earbud, assuring him that we would stay in touch and I'd help if necessary. I carefully watched his dad and Ben were alone in the bungalow. Adjust your dress. Smile, you're too tense. To us, finally spending time alone. Alone? <laughs> Where are you, friends? There's no one else. It was just a story for your old man. Take off your clothes. I asked Dad to say that it was too fast for me. Listen, she's not ready. I mean, I am not ready yet. Ben refused to listen and kept being persistent. Dad, please repeat word for word. It will definitely happen when deeper feelings arise between us. My father did everything right, still, the statement had no effect on Ben. You all say that first. Ben locked the room and put the key in his underwear. I let you out once you retrieve it. <gasps> Get out of there! He has no right to trap you! Dad tried to get up, but Ben <gasps> roughly pushed him onto the bed. Knowing that he had no strength to resist, I decided to act and broke down the door. Get your dirty hands off him! Her! Using my father's powerful body, I easily dealt with that wimp. I checked him for bruises or scratches, and that's when I realized how difficult it is to be responsible for someone. Honestly, being a teenage girl is not a picnic either. That same night, my dad and I finally switched bodies. It happened the moment we truly started empathizing with each other.
sometimes we must step outside ourselves to truly understand the ones we love.